I'm not 18. <laughs> hey, knowingly. Hey, Yoshi. Sundown. Captain. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's excited for some Luigi's Mansion. I could not bring myself to do Fire Emblem tonight, so I'm going to take an extra day off of it. I just, I can't. No three hat, yeah, a little sad, but I I need I need a week. Why are you streaming an hour early? <laughs> Has it been daylight savings time in Europe yet? I'm assuming then. I'm glad you know it's best for your mental health. I I appreciate everyone uh everyone understanding. It's only gonna be one day. I'll be back on it on Thursday. So, literally, one day loss, I think it will be fine. Been fired out of FE. I have been playing Fire Emblem almost nonstop for 18 months now? 20 months now? I guess technically, because it started in February. And as much as I love the series, sometimes I just need an extra week away. <laughs> How did you know? Yeah, lu lucky guess, honestly. Hope you're doing well, Yosh. Yes. So the thing that's weird for me is it daily. Does the U does the UK have daylight savings time at the same point? Oh, their daylight. Oh. It's good to know. That's going to change the stream time for the guy I watch tomorrow. Doing all right, glad to hear it. But I plan to play the 3DS one and not this one, so I don't mind watching it even though I have... Oh, perfect. That works out well. I'm going to play the original Luigi's Mansion 2, which I think is the 3DS one um, at one point. Or I think next. I'm not going to do the Switch port remake because I don't really want to pay $60 for it. I'm going to be honest. Especially with the DS Ice being such a wonderful controlling mechanism. Um, but I already own Luigi's Mansion 3, so like we'll be able to play that. Uh, yeah, that's also it also was coming out next year. That was uh you know another another reason why. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Just alright, gotta take a moment to step down from the marathon. It's not like you had an end date for it or anything like that. Oh, look, the end date is whenever I finish it. Forget April. <laughs> <laughs> Buying time for the next safety game. Honestly, I kind of hope they just do another Warriors game. And then I can just not play it. Ugh. My controller. FE4 Warriors. Ah. I was thinking they'd do an engage one. You know. Continue the story and all that. You could always do FE Heroes. I already said I'm going to do FE Heroes. Probably go. If there's a gallery, I'm going to go through all the character art. Play it on stream for like a day. Add everyone that wants to add me. And then who knows. Oop, that was loud. And then who knows uh, how much I played after that, but. One of the best soundtracks in GameCube history. <laughs> Joke's on you when FB re-engage becomes Game of the Century. Well, you know what? If it becomes Game of the Century, I'll buy it. Right. I have circle is select. <laughs> I 
I already lost to a menu. It's pretty embarrassing. I'm using a PS5 controller because I don't have the adapter for a GameCube one. I'm gonna, I already have one ordered. So in the future, I'll be able to use GameCube controllers for it. But, um, I realized today I was like, I shit, I don't have it. So I, I set up a PS5 controller and mapped all the buttons out Hello? before stream started. Hmm? Oh man, the foyer. See how that works. Hmm. This game is so close in years to F Zero GX, it gives me tingles. Look at the unique Luigi model. We love this hmm. game. How did I say foyer? Foyer. GameCube controller was designed by man. I love the GameCube controller. Hmm. Woo, woo, woo! A very unFrench of me. Hoo Is that better? Boom. Is it Poye? It might be. It's Foyer. <laughs> A ghost! The graphics still hold up. This, I, I, I don't remember much about this game, except that I was stuck on the final boss and couldn't figure out how to beat it. But I remember this game terrified me as a child. Oh my God. I I struggled to beat it the first time I tried to play it because I was so scared. It just looks good. I think everything, it's... it's... Wish they had done a remake of this one, honestly. It should be when you play with Boya. Picaro, it has been so long since you streamed. I miss him. I will not take. Uh, one of these days, I'm just going to learn French and my entire stream is going to be in French. Hmm? Also, hey, Twink, I hope you're doing well. Oh, e gad. That didn't look good. What's your name? Oh, I sure took a lot of wood knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching common foolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad. This house, I swear, it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Oh, this looks ugly. All right, youngster, look lively. Follow me, post taste. So your name's Luigi? Oh, the soundtrack is so good. <laughs> you play more games with canon French characters. You really should, especially ones 
with canon French characters without the voice acting. So I'm glad you said that. Sundown, I'm sorry. I have a game I want to play that's modeled after like kind of a Final Fantasy tactic style game that is the French Revolution and um, Napoleon's Rise to Power. And you play, I believe, as one of Napoleon's tacticians. And so every single character in the game is French. There is no voice acting. And it is going to be the greatest streams we ever do. Oh my god. Please don't encourage him. Love the quirky music in the OG Mansion. The music in this one's so good. Is the game supposed to be letterbox or is it it's supposed to be like this? I have it um set up in like native resolution, and this is this is the way they wanted it to be. I actually even launched it on my GameCube, hooked it up to uh, one of my TVs just to make sure that this was right. And I'm pretty sure it is, considering it was this way on my TV as well. I love that idea. It's going to be a lot of fun, but it's a tactics game, so it's going to be a while till we get to it. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. What's this? Where's this, you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor E. Gad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, if you're of a shortening mind. You won this match in a contest you didn't en even enter. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Do you believe this mansion actually exists, then? Strange. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so. And I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all, but I surely won't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat. And he never returned. Was he a dream too? That guy was your brother? Oh no, how horrible. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Don't die, thanks, Grovile. <laughs> Maybe more games with French characters will cross on my... I, 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 don't worry, Cross Code <laughs> is on... The list. <laughs> Spooky game. Hey Billy, hope you're doing well. Um, uh, I also saw Sundown. You made you made the comment. What possessed uh, them to make Resident Evil but Luigi? Who knows? But it slaps. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, cycle things in vacuum. Check my inventory. Map. Game Boy Horror, examine the door. Inspection Luigi's faces, move. Move Luigi's side to side. Oh, we can do tank controls. Hey, clone, get your green mask back here, ghosty boy. <laughs> The new RE game looks sick. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the sub as well, uh, Clone. I hope you're doing well. Try the code that activates widescreen. Kind of liking it like this though. It's a nice, it's a nice little size. That's the vacuum cleaner. I engine. I love the Game Boy Horror. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it. This is genius. The Poltergust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. Don't 
matter how strong you think your brother is. So mysterious beings, they can't be caught using conventional means. So you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. Ahem. Well, how about we start your training? You seem to like darkness, and they avoid the light. If you hit them with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily, then it's vacuuming time. When you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Let's give it a try. You learn more than that way than just listening to me yap about it. First, okay, yeah, I see it. I know, I know. You have to, like, flash him. Hold on. There's a way to turn off the stick. There we go. No, I, I understand. I want to turn... I don't see how to turn off the flashlight. Yeah, you can yell at me all you want. I'm going to do my best here. I'm doing my best. There we go. Hey, kid, shape up. You can't go looking for your brother the way you're carrying on. There, here they come. There we go. Just check it under enhancements. That's fine the way it is. Hmm. I appreciate you sending the link, though. Um, should have waited on the control screen for the Easter. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> You're doing your best. Thanks. The newer games really made it more streamlined looking back and how they did it. Never gonna hear him saying jabba jabu. Hold on. Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the poltergust 3000 as a team. You get me, young fella? That'll do. But how many did you get? Six ghosts. Well done, Luigi. Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. But a little cool down in the gallery. I'm quite proud of you, you know? Hmm. Off we go. I'll take a look at it real quick. I'll just see what it looks like in widescreen. I'm going to play it like this, I think. By I think, I mean, I know. Um, oh, that's not good. I'm not immediately seeing the settings thing, and I just... The, this is already way too much work. <laughs> um... Ting Kong fig in the main menu? You're good, you're good. I would like to do a save. Let me hold. On. Let me save the game before I do this, just in case something shuts it off. Welcome to the gallery. I once had twenty-one paintings in my famous ghost collection, but now there are only frames. What a crying shame! Unfortunately, there are only statues here now. But feel free to look around anyway. Use the X button to check your surroundings with that Game Boy horror I gave you. Be sure to search anything, search suspicious places extra well. You can also check objects with the A button by tapping and shaking stuff. Don't try that on the angel statues. <laughs> right, there's the whole first person mode. And the Resident Evil camera. It's a statue. 
A very tall angel statue by the looks of it. <laughs> it's a very tall angel statue. Glad you immediately looked at the statue. So I, I can't control where he looks. Okay, it's Luigi's the freak. <laughs> real, don't do him like that. <laughs> oh. Really? Why does it zoom down immediately? Oh, what's this? This would sure fetch a pretty penny. Thing. <laughs> After playing so many Resident Evil games, this feels so bizarre. <laughs> Are you done appreciating art for today, Luigi? Um, what we got? Look at the statue feet. I really like the feature to get more an idea of Luigi's character. No, there's some mirrors on the fourth wall. You can use the warp back to the entrance throughout the mansion. Right. Yeah, I did know that. Um, you never get much from Luigi as a character in the previous games. Well, he was really just player two, from what I know of. I mean, I felt like you got him, a, you got a little bit about him in like some of the RPG games that had him. Like, I mean, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, one of my favorite games ever. One of these days, I'll play a playthrough of that. Also, hey, Boom Crash, I hope you're doing well. The only thing I remember about that was the is one singular boss in that game I got stuck on. Just looking? No, I want I would like to leave. I'm done appreciating art. Right. Um, where am I? This is the gallery. This is where I hang all my paintings. Ghost paintings, that is. When I was young, I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings, and I traveled the world collecting them. Always glamorous, I tell you. Now then now I have to tell you a horrifying story. The last ghost I caught was number 22. Who lost us? But there are lots of boos, and King Boo rallied all them all to take revenge upon me. I used my machine to free Boo Lossus from the painting. And they went and turned all my other portraits back into ghosts too. As if that wasn't weren't enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night. And then they all hid inside. If I told anybody else about this stuff, they'd probably have me committed. I'm sure my portrait ghosts are somewhere inside the mansion. I just have to get them back. I just, I want it. Okay, it's fine. That's how I do that. Items. Ghosts. Alrighty. Oh boy, I gotta get used to this. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, go back to the lab. All right, then. Uh, what we got? Young me should have gotten stuck on one boss superstar saga, but managed to beat them while missing the actual main gimmick, dealing like one to two damage every turn. There is a chance that I did the exact same thing you did, Yosh. <laughs> that might be we might be thinking of the same boss. Was it the boss with the arms? Let me check which boss. I I'll know as soon as I see it. One second. Um It was not that one. That one I did fine on. The one I struggled with... was the one you fight in the desert. 
It looks like a tree with two giant hands. Why do you need a legit way to do so? Because I don't have uh, anything on the top for save states. Which means I probably just have something hidden. I don't like pressing a bunch of buttons. We want to get, we're playing Bowser Inside Story, but I don't have it legit to do so. Emulated. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I was like, I, I was like, oh, I must be missing something. <laughs> Microsoft is blocking most non-official controllers from working. That is cringe. That's big cringe. Where will you go, Luigi? The mansion. Well, now, Luigi. Hey, Trajan. We doing well. Hey, it's Toad. Woohoo! Where did you go, Mario? What? Uh huh. Luigi. Wow, it's Luigi. You finally made it. Oh joy! Thank goodness. What me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd won a mansion, and he never returned. But then when I arrived here, the ma mansion was full of ghosts, and I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little, and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Leave it to me. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Luigi! You made my dark and stormy night! I wish I could do something to help you. Wait! I got it! At least let me do this! There we go. <laughs> Talk to me for help anytime! <laughs> I like your toad voice. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, after 20 years, it looks so good. Um, isn't inside for the DS? This is a remake. Oh, is it? It's a, I feel like I have a pretty accurate toad voice. Thank you. I played Superstar Saga for the first time on Switch earlier this year, but it was weird. And it was weirdly balanced, but funny. I have it somewhere in my chest, the games. I have that uh, in my little thing. I loved that game. I beat it so many times. Let me uh, let me scroll back up. I want to fuck around. Sundown, give me some good uh, instructions. I just want to see what it looks like widescreen. Um, I'm curious, like morbidly. Options, configuration. Uh, oh, oh, it's gotta not be running. I'll give it. I'll give it a look another time. When we, when we launch it, if we don't beat it today and we play it tomorrow, I'll start the stream out with it just to see what it's like. Oh, the 3DS release added the control option for the flashlight. Okay. Um, hmm. you can totally cheat and superstar so I'm gonna switch to the ability to have save states and go even go back frames. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. Where's the fun in that? Just don't, you just gotta not use it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> the ghosts are trying to hit me with traps. Good, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. The parlor. Um, I love that he hums. Ooh, Yeah, 
any. But I say, I know there's ghosts in this room. We literally just saw them. All right, let's do what I try to leave. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here. Yes. They love the dark, and now they will get you. Now you're in for it. Just like a little red cap before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark little man, are you, huh? <laughs> Here they are now. <laughs> Got him. Got his ass. Oh, okay, hold on. How do I want it? Yoink! Good work solving one of your first puzzles. Thank you, thank you. Oh, chest. The OG was probably the most uh, scary, the scariest in the trilogy IMO. I played a little, I played like a, through a third of three and like, it's a fun game, but I don't know. I, I, I always remember what Trigen said as well. This one like terrified me as a kid. And in that regard, I kind of have a lot of respect for it. I also got lost all the time in this one. So prepare for that. I'm actually not a fan of the widescreen since it seems like it stretches out the Game Boy horror. Nothing I hate more than a stretch dash. Oh, really? I want to see what it looks like. So when we uh, start up tomorrow, I'll at least give it a look. But that's that is unfortunate. Zelda ass chess. Yeah, they do appear out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Is Luigi's Mansion a Metroidvania? It's a Resident Evil game. Is this the... I'm pretty sure this is the Y button. A map. Isn't it amazing? You would think that even with this map, I'd be able to figure out where to go. No, Yoshi. With the map's help, I still couldn't find what rooms I needed to solve puzzles in. Oh, you might say, but they light up when you solve the puzzles in them. Oh, that's a great point. I'll beat you to that one. Um, that didn't help me. <laughs> this game took me days to even get to the final boss. I know you weren't here for it, uh, but when we played Resident Evil 1 the first time, I got lost for over an hour and a half. I don't know if anyone remembers this. I got lost for over an hour and a half after the first puzzle because I couldn't see a door behind, like, attached to a painting. True. And when you're a kid, games are so much more difficult. Oh, God. Hello. Thank you for the raid. Hey, my buddy, Keith. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> How was Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories? Thank you, Sundown. I appreciate your help. If you guys don't know me, my name is T. Taylor T. Swizzle. And I'm currently doing Luigi's Mansion because, uh... They're good games, friend. I will rid... Yeah, that's... That's right. Over here. <laughs> yeah, hopefully Yu-Gi-Oh went well. Welcome to Welcome to our Halloween game. I see you like penguins. Penguins are the greatest of animals, breaded charmer. There are other fantastic animals, but penguins are the number one. A door. 
<laughs> it was good getting over having the plague. That's unfortunate. So it was more chill than anything, but stop. Stop. Hopefully you're getting over the plague. <laughs> was not too awful a task. Ow. That's right. Who's laughing now, huh? Oh, hello. Oh, right, the banana guy. No, no! Damn it. Oh, that guy is so annoying. Okay, there we go. You need the banana peel? Or... Um, there goes our no hit run. Hey, this is a swizzle stream. You're expecting high level gameplay here? <laughs> Wrong place, Yosh. <laughs> Barely passable gameplay with a lot of conversation. All right, that's that's what I can promise. Um, wish you got a card. You bought them. Which way you get to throw an apple? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Went straight for that one wardrobe. Yeah, I like that one. Thank you, Sundown. I do play Fire Emblem. I play a lot of Fire Emblem. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Why did you like that one? A lot of times when I'm clearing a, a room in Resident Evil, I go for the furthest area away from the first door. That way, if a zombie jumps me, I have either the most room between it coming through the door or it appearing out of this door for me to run away. If I go closest and everything, then I, ha I like to go all the way and then work my way back. Heck yeah. Oh. Mario. 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 Hmm? Heck yeah. Which Fire Emblem games have you played? If I may ask. Mario. Hmm? Mario. Hmm. Oh, a little trail of gold coins. <laughs> Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor E. Gad. I detect spirits stronger than we've seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen thus far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search its hot clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Oh, I didn't realize you could skip that. Housekeeping. <clears throat> I do my thing as well. Apologies. I played the English releases and tootled in the Japanese ones, but I didn't finish. All good choices. Hopefully you have a chance to uh, do some of the Japanese release games. I really enjoy a lot of them. Oh, hey there, buddy. Silly book. I'm messing my buttons up. There we go. Oh, go ahead. Try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Oh, that was very useful. The time and energy I struggle. Well, that's fair. That's fair.
about to say, I'm pretty sure. Come here. I love that there's blow both a suck and blow function. I just enjoy the creativity of a little vacuum. Perfect capture. We're doing great. <laughs> Another key. Where's this one go? End of the hallway. The only boss I remember. <clears throat> The only boss I can remember from this game is a giant baby. Oh, forgot they hurt you. And I know that that door is fake because it's not on the map. Actually, there's multiple fake doors. <laughs> what could possibly have inspired that? by the I saw a curtain I knew it had to happen <laughs> ah shit <laughs> I know it's so sad oh, fuck me Perfect capture run joins the no hit run. Alas. Honestly, probably better I lose it early. It's the pressure off, you know? Hey, Fig, it's a me. Only Fig. Mario. Mario. Yeah, I was I was R <laughs> right. I was RNG manipping. <laughs> exactly. It was to, it was to really set up the toad spawn outside. Oh yeah. Art, I'll take that. Uh, yeah. It's interesting to see what you recall after a decade. It's been so long. I remember the baby. I remember the final boss of like what it is. I remember one room where I'm like trying to like think about it, you know? I remember like a single room where like there was like a weightlifting one. You remember the window for Lydia? I'll be honest. I uh, I just saw that there was a window with the breeze coming through and I figured I would open it. <laughs> I didn't know that that's what caused that. Oh, yeah. Um, hold on. Here's the stupid baby. 
Horsey, Rocky, Horsey. Straight to the dresser by the door, completely at risk by a zombie. True. Maybe I just pick stuff at random. Maybe I've grown too comfortable. Hello there. Swear he's got like 200 pounds on the other side of the bar. Yeah. Hey, you want to play with me? Are you gonna call? Oh, I, I know what. Oh, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. No, give me the ball. Ball. God damn it. No, don't hit me. Quick points. How is Babby formed? Good aim, thanks. <laughs> Ow, you gave me an owie. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough. Small, now grow smaller. Small, itsy, tiny, little, wee, ga, ga, goo, goo, ga. What a spell. Yep, I remember this thoroughly. This was the scariest moment of my 11 year old life. <laughs> Excellent baby boy. Thank you. Thank you. Take my revenge. I'm back. That stupid rattle. What is this terrifying abomination? You don't love Luigi's Mansion Ghost? Hey, so I hope you do well. Goodbye, perfect capture. Oh, it does this thing. Oh my god. Don't mind me, he's shuffling along. <laughs> the most annoying ass baby manageable. Maybe maybe babies are like elf like baby ghosts are like elves. Thousands of years. Good work, thank you, thank you. I've taken my revenge. Mm. Luigi. Luigi. Mm. Luigi, can you hear me? Oh thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm. You 
seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But oh, I guess you showed that boss ghost. Who's boss? Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portrificationizer. <laughs> this machine lets us turn the ghosts you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Hmm? How do we use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Poltergust 3000 into the slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. Mm. Oh, yeah. Brings up a concerning point, though. He's a ghost baby. Ghosts are, of course, head. Oh, uh, yes. Boss baby. He's almost born as a ghost since three years old. There you go. There's our thank you, Boom. There's our lore for it. The ghosts are invisible. So we need to press them into visible palms. And presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. Hmm. This guy's about to like hug himself appear on camera like this twice. Oh, the ectogenic. What is it? What, what's the fucking line? Oh, the ectogenesis. Ectogeneticus. Some fucking long ass word. <laughs> hmm. Why don't we manage to turn those ghosts back into paintings? Thanks for your help, Luigi. Yeah, the whole family is kind of gone. We got all of them. They're all paintings now. Fancy. Love it. Why is this kind of dark? It is all ghosts. It makes things much less grim. One gold, two silvers. I'll take it. Oh, I didn't notice that the paintings had a... Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. They have, um... Oh. I probably because I saw everything as a bronze when I first played. <laughs> okay, when a mommy ghost and a daddy ghost love each other very much. Oh boy. Holy shit, Luigi is loaded. Three million gold? Bro, he could just buy a new mansion. What's he doing? Well, I guess he's got to find his brother. That, yes, that part's kind of... <laughs> That's nothing in this economy. Where will you go, Luigi? The mansion? <laughs> but now, Luigi. Oh, it's based on Yen. Ah, uh, you know... face gets all messed up in that cutscenes. The epigenetic ecstasy. Thank you so much. Can I press Z? Sure thing. Do that. I'm gonna pour some orange juice. For bosses based on... Oh, okay. 90 plus for gold. Otherwise, how many cycles? Hmm. Inflation's easy when you're a ghost. Right. Sorry about that. I see what you're saying now. Oh, and then I can check him. Neville, 42 years old. Neville spends his afterlife reading the books he missed while living. Um, and I select with that. The spoiled baby. Oh, he's one year old. He cries loudly and never sleeps through the night. But since he was born a ghost, this seems natural. Well, might as well check the last one at this point. The mirror gazing mother, Lydia, 34. She stashed her se she stashed her secret savings away to prepare for her long afterlife. Mm. 
Oh, happy, happy, God. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm starting. <clears throat> I'm starting to get the desire uh, to play another Uchikoshi game. Otherwise known as a... That is very dark. I didn't even think of it like that. Mario. Where goes wet nurse? You're telling me Bloodborne was Luigi's Mansion inspired? Wait, no, no, hold on. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh boy. Oh yeah, back to the middle of the room. All right, so we'll have to do that with other stuff. A pure VN, hold on. I have to beat Zonky Zero first. <laughs> um... <laughs> I used to annoy the heck out of my friend playing this game due to me spamming just Mario 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 What is a nightmare of menses if not Luigi's mansion? There, Toad. Oh, wow. Mario, where are you? Where? Luigi? Yeah, Luigi. How lucky you found me. I feel so much better now. Please, please, please save Mario. I looked everywhere. Can't find him. Where is he? <laughs> I'm glad people like the toad voice. It's my specialty. <laughs> Just take me back to the middle room. Okay. So I have a pink key. That's for this. the ceiling were uh are terrible yeah. what now what was that sound back here oh well that's too bad um at least they only have zero health please stop hurting me Look, I'm just here to clean up the mansion. I love how canonically Luigi's house he finished the game getting is the D rank one. That's pretty great. <laughs> hey, Yaka. Ah. It was gold. I figured it was money or something related. We'll take what we can get there. Oh, hey, I know. Is there someone in here? Hey, 
Oh, let go of me. <laughs> Looks like you've run into a bit of trouble there. Maybe you need more training. There are some ghosts who will try to grab and hold you. When that happens, try moving your control stick back and forth to shake them off. It's the age-old struggle for survival, my boy. Don't lose heart, Luigi. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, Yaka. How's Luigi? Luigi is great. Freaky. Where's this take us? Okay. Let us cleanse these on streets. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, my God. Bomb ghosts? Nope. Get away from me. <laughs> I have a room to go into. Oh. oh dear. Uh... Oh. Ow. Um. I think it would flash him. Fire out! Oh, there we go. There we go. Jesus. If you beat this game tomorrow, you're going to do Bloodborne. I'm going to play through all three Luigi's Mansions, and then once we're done the Luigi's Mansions, I'm going to finish up Bloodborne. Please stop hurting me. Oh, don't scare them away. Over here. Yeah, fuck these dudes. Holy shit. <laughs> Fire two of them. Two for Oh, you wanna know what? Oh, I'll figure it all out. I. I would. My, my goal is to try and get all the ghosts and actually complete this game after a decade of not being able to. Oh, what the fuck? God 
damn it. Get over here. So you can see me. Well, that might be, but you will never find my weakness. Well, that's... You're playing 100% it? Uh, if 100% is get all the ghosts, then yeah. something um apparently needed but i mess with these portraits a better reset right now for 100 percent all money all perfect captures i cannot think oh hello oh it's planned Plan. Of course, guys, I, I'm unstoppable. I, I, I don't even know what to say. There's one option. Yeah, if I miss it, I miss it. Mario. At the end of the day, it's just basically a, oh, yeah. a casual playthrough of all the games. <laughs> Easy. Also, me and my marathons. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm. <laughs> if I'm going to do it, I might as well beat all of them, right? Mario. But. That means they're all beaten. And I'm excited for that. Well, yeah, what a regular person would probably get on the run. That's a great way of describing it, actually. Oh, hello there, ghosty. I could have handed to Nintendo. They were on something with these GameCube games. And I, 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 it's kind of impressive. They were on the something. You were almost a Luigi sandwich. Oh, this looks really bad. Danger. Mm. Especially because this was a GameCube release game for real, yeah. Because they had the gameplay first focus, they were thinking of what's the most inventive game. Oh. Miss of any gameplay, there's first and foremost, just not how to make it fit the plot. Yeah, I think there's really something to be said about that type of way of making games. I don't think I like it for everything, but for some, I mean, you come up with some really clever ideas. So you're gonna collect all 50 of those? If we happen upon them. <laughs> Along with Melee and Rogue Leader, I think. Oh, really? I didn't know about Rogue Leader. Mr. Miyamoto does not believe games need a plot, just the motivation. Rescue person, stop bad guy. That's all the plot you need. Isn't that the kind of the design philosophy that Zelda follows? Which I'm sure is a conversation we'll have when we play Zelda. But... 
Does an applaud just take back? Yeah, it's pretty backseat. <laughs> we saved Mario. That's the plot. Very good. What do you need to eat, Gad? Luigi, are you okay? That was them. Those were the ones who released all the ghosts from the paintings in my gallery, those fiends. I wondered where King Boo and his gang had gone, so they were hiding in the mansion all along. Thanks for flashing them out, Luigi. I tickled the... I... Whoa, hold on. I tickled you found them, but perhaps it would have been better if you hadn't. Well, let every single one escape. That's the thought. Ah, well, water under the bridge anyway. You should probably come back to the lab for a sec. I've been waiting for you, young Luigi. Your brother must have been taken by that gang of booze. Poor fella. Oh, now don't talk crazy. They're not going to eat the man. But what's become of him? I'm hot that he hasn't come back. Theory holds that booze grow in strength when they travel in numbers. They must somehow combine their powers, too. Their power likely overwhelmed your brother. If you aim to save Mario, there's but one way to do it. Capture each Boo and slowly weaken the group's power. But Boo's is their name and flies like to hide and then jump out to scare people. You've got your work cut out fighting him. <laughs> Don't get all down in the mouth, my boy. The Game Boy Horror I gave you is a secret function. I knew it'd come in handy one day, so I developed secretly. I call it the Boo Radar. The Boo Radar will flash red when something round like a boo is hidden nearby. Use it to search everywhere, Luigi. All right, now, Sunny, don't go tuckering yourself out. Relax and just try to get those boos one at a time. The trick's using the control stick and the C stick together. Don't forget now. Where will you go, Luigi? Imagine. Careful now, Luigi. Just the thought. No big deal. In fact, all GameCube systems support the display of stereoscopic 3D. And Luigi's Mansion was planned to utilize this feature. However, 3D televisions were not widespread at the time. And it was deemed that compatible displays would be too cost prohibitive for the consumer. As a result, the feature was not enabled outside of development. Oh, interesting. Okay. Luigi, a boo! There was a big blue! Sorry. Luigi, a boo! There was a big boo flying around here. Be extra careful! <clears throat> cards for a future marathon. Hmm. So it blinks red when there's a boo nearby? Ah, here we go. Where are you? There's a book called Darkness is Their Cheese. Will you read it? Of course. Ghost mice are drawn to darkness as real mice are drawn to cheese. In the dark, they shine gold with contentment. I must try to get close to one before the light comes back on. See Parmesan. Hey there, Boo. <laughs> Not my name, Taboo. I don't. That's a bomb. All right, that's not very kind. You found Novell's big baby care diary. Will you read it? My third son is still a baby. Oddly enough, he seems to scare people in ways the other two never did. The twins, now they're afraid of fire, water, cold, and wind. Why, they shake with fright when beset by the elements. Sometimes I think they're more childish than the baby. But I'll probably come in handy. A book of riddles. Will you read it? Oh, yeah, I'll read it. Mysteries appear wherever people turn. Turning away from them solves nothing. Instead of turning away, turn to the side. Look at the mystery from a different view. A way will surely open. Oh yeah, I'm not going to get that. I will not read Darkness is Their Cheese again. A book of... Parables? There are spirits known as elemental ghosts. They live in the elements of fire, water, and ice that make up much of our world. 
Handle these elements. One must first obtain an elemental metal. Perhaps the elemental ghosts are only visible to the bearer of such a metal. Egad's Guide to Ghosts. Dear readers, we all, we've all had trouble with ghosts who aren't easily surprised, right? They have all sorts of ways to protect themselves from light. What will you do, bright folks, when they're in a fix with one of these stubborn ghouls? Well, sir, I'd first look for an opening, a way to catch them off guard and unsettle them. When the ghost is surprised and shows you its heart, that's your chance to catch the little bugger. I tell you, I've caught dozens of ghosts just like this. Oh, yeah. Lydia's childcare diary, sure, sure. The twins are very shy for ghosts their age. They've even gone and hid the key to their room far away in the mansion. How very trying. They get mad at, e at me the other day for twirling their little toy helicopter mobile. Those children today, who knows what they're thinking? The booze in this game are horrendous. Mm -hmm. Makes me worse. Heracles, like Heriot. Heracles? The model goes from portrait, only one of them matters. Ah, okay, interesting. Get it down. That's a bomb. Yummy, yummy, delicious! No, you don't. Get back here. See, you already caught your first boo. I've been researching those guys. Well, these boos don't seem to like light much, that's for sure. They do their best to hide in, in and under furniture when they're stuck in a lit room. So then I reckon that means that turning on all the lights in the mansion is the fastest way to find all the boos. Wouldn't you say, youngster? Okay, now send me the boo and the, all the data you've got. Okay. Be careful, Luigi. Mario. One boo down. 49 boos to go. Mm -hmm. We'll take those odds. Your tur- your turbo. Go get back here. What? Oh, I see you. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. No getting away from me. Now I see how this works. Done, Luigi. Mission mailed. Mission mailed successfully. So if I go back in here... Oh, that's one of the fake doors. <laughs> Whoops. Mario. Hmm. Um. I'm assuming it was, uh, I'm assuming, yeah, just if, if anything that happens like later in the game. Mario. I'm trying to keep it. Hmm. See what I remember. Mm -hmm. It's the twins' room, so they hit that. Um, go back and where? I don't know what I was referring to. Mm -hmm. Bomb? Boo. Oh, yeah. Cable? Can you take this off? Aha! Bamboo! Another zero, jeez. Oh, oh, okay. The fake door, yeah. Oops. <laughs> I will be opening many of those fake doors, I'm sure. Oh, there's another one. What? Really? Oh, Pabu. Hey, there you are. No, you don't. I know how you work now. Yeah, get back here. You're like a leopard. Send me the boo and all the data you got. Mario. 
Bomb? No. Where is the... Oh, big boo ball. <laughs> oh, money. Hello. I'll take that. There's two things in there. Buddha? There we go. Oh my god. There's no stopping me. You already found five boos. You're a boo snaring maniac. I understand you're worried about your younger brother. Your brother, young fella, but take it easy. You have plenty of time still, so try to keep your shirt on. Why not go to the washroom and splash some water on your face? You'll feel much better, believe you me. Huh? The washroom's... Wait, the washroom's are in another place. Huh? I see a welcome message, Mario. but I saw the thing. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll figure it out. Don't worry. I appreciate the help, though. Game Boo Advance? No, don't you, don't you do that. We'll be fine. I appreciate the assistance, but I'll figure it all out. Why don't you just love my brilliant inventions? I sent me the boo and all the data you got. Be careful, Luigi. I think that's, I mean, technically, I guess there could be one on the patio. I don't know if there can be one where the toad is. No, there's not one there. I will use this to teleport back to the main room, though. It saves me a nice little bit of time walking. Um. Mario. Mario. So I want to go up here and go to the washroom. Yeah, ex oh, exactly. Wouldn't want to waste, you know, my world record run here. What the hell? What the heck is that thing? Oh, butler ghost. Is it? Is it the butler ghost? I thought I saw coattails. Where the hell you go? Aha! Ah, uh, the beautiful medley will, melody will never even get, will not even give me the time of day. What must I do to win her? Passion, yes? That's it, I will show her I burn for her. My unbridled passion will scorch her soul. Oh, probably light the candles. Hey, Toad. Uh, I dropped a really important thing into the toilet. I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. Hey, you're right. No point crying over spilt milk. I suppose I'll just flush that old worry away. Yep. Just let it swirl on down to the depths and let happiness refill my life. <laughs> All the booze and no booze, no boozettes. Sacrificing money and per yeah, exactly. And perfect captures for speed. <laughs> Mario. Whistle playthrough, and we're talking about perfect captures. You all know better. <laughs> You know better than that. Come on now. Damn it. Oh, y'all. Into the vacuum cleaner. Come on. Ah, 
god, this ass. Please, can I grab that? That'd be great. Uh, map. Hey, these guys have nothing on me. Door opening animation. Excellent, excellent. Whoa, girl. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Well, the light makes that reflect. Um. I can go into this other room where I will yeah, be beset by ghosts. Sorry. Oh! Oh, these things! No! No, I hate these things. These are the ones that only appear in the mirror. Come here. Mario! The mirror room! I hate this place! I hate this place so much! I had nightmares about ghosts and fucking mirrors! Oh my god, it's coming back to me. Although I don't know if it was Luigi's Mansion related or... Some other horror trope. Oh my god. Alrighty. There's a boo in here now. A red coin? What the fuck does that do? Well, obviously I unlocked something. I like how he's like sometimes just not in frame. <laughs> hey now, Luigi. What have you found there? Let's take a look at that. Oh, wow, it's a fire element metal. Now you can use the fire element. Yes, sir. With that, you can catch fire elemental ghosts. Hmm, what's a fire elemental ghost, you ask? Why? They show up everywhere you see fire, my boy. They're ghosts of fire itself, if you will. If you approach if you approach a flame, they'll be surprised by your presence. And leap out into the air, then you vacuum up right away. After that, you can expel fire with the L button. You can melt ice, light candles, do all kinds of stuff. A meter will appear down at the bottom of the screen, so keep an eye on how much element you have left, okay, fella? You may have to use the fire element to defeat some ghosts. Keep that in mind, Sonny. Don't say I never warned you. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot. Mario! Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Hello there. Give me. Oh. Hung Boo. Got them. Outstanding work. You're like a leopard on the hunt. Could also just be a candle. Signal lost. Reminds me of all the old peeps learning Zoom. Oh yeah, trying to get the camera on, right? This is a very cool addition to your usual vacuum kit that they nearly did away with later on. I noticed in 3, for what I had played, there was very little... Like... Besides just going to an area, fighting a ghost. I don't know, I didn't feel like 3 had the greatest puzzles. I didn't play far enough in the three. So obviously, yeah, you want me to light this room up. Have I ever played Dark Moon? I've not heard of Dark Moon. What is Dark Moon? Is that the second one? A seagull. We're playing the sequel next. Um, I've never... E the only thing I've seen about Dark Moon then is the um, the trailers of the remake. This was a tech demo that became a game? Really? 
Before Zoom, there was Game Boy Horror. Wait, hold on. Oh, well, that was doing something. Hello there. Destiny, choose our paths. Oh, wait a moment. Can I talk to you now? What do you seek of me? Who are you? I am Madame Clairvoya, seer of dropped items. Possessions of other people awaken vibrations in my spirit. If you find someone's dropped items, you should bring them to me. I will show you the extent of my vision. Have any dropped items? Tell me the future. Oh, um, no, I feel no spiritual vibrations right now. All right. That's the, uh, the one on the... Yeah, so I know it was... Ooh, gold bar. Mario. I remember thinking for some reason that the remake of 2 was coming out during Halloween. So I was like, oh, perfect. We can do a Luigi a Luigi's Mansion Halloween marathon. Whoa. Hello there. <laughs> Got nice decor. Got a good room. I like the room. I right, get all get all the rodents and the bats, and then hello there. Oh, fire! 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 Run away! Excuse me. Uh. I just burnt that door. Oh, you can burn the fake doors off. Uh, oh, hello. I'm sure this won't be a problem. Alrighty then. Got him. That worked out well. There we go. I became tiny. Oh my god, I didn't know that it was the sound, the classic sound. Little mushroom sound. Grab that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> How many doors here? I just wanna, I want, did they also build the Baker Mansion? Like, peekaboo. Oh, no, don't do that. That's rude. Back here. Aren't you just loving my brilliant inventions? Okay, now send me the boo and all the data you've got. Probably, yeah, for real. What is it? Arkley Mansion? The Spencer Residence? No, is Arkley, Arkley Estate the same thing? Come here. And then the Baker residence. Mario's hat! And it's been laundered recently. Beautiful. Hello, ghosty. There we go. Oh, 
holy shit. Money. Um, the mansion is inspired by Western dollhouses. Hence, the one wall is missing from your perspective. Oh, that's clever. I'm boogie. Back here. Can I actually catch you? I don't know where you went. Oh, that was lucky. You go up? God damn it. There you are, you fucker. Get back here. Go help me. You are a pain in the ass. Oh my god. Didn't they initially have other ideas before the mansions were finalized? You're on fire, Luigi. I'm curious what other way they would do it. That's a fake door, huh? Right. Um. Still haven't gone downstairs. And honestly, I should light. I should light all the candles in here. There we go. There's Money Mouse. A little fire everywhere, huh? Oh, hello. Uh, they thought of a Japanese mountain villa in an apartment complex, which we call apartment complex in Japan mansions. of the Japanese mountain villa and an apartment complex, which we call apartment complexes in Japan mansions. Very different meaning. But that is interesting. Okay. Very different meaning. I mean, I guess it's the same premise, though. Large building with a lot of rooms. Oh, I would... I would love... A room like this. Oh. Give me your posters. Okay. Um. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait. No, don't burn them. I think maybe if you, like, blow into the... That'd be too complicated. Oh, yeah. There you are. Hmm. This ragamuffin looks as if he couldn't play a note. Melody, people call me the spectral beauty of the ivory keys. What a stirring performance. I haven't been so charmed by a piece for ages. You must have a delicate ear for music. Would you like to listen to my piano sonata? Well, here I go. Song was featured in the famous game. Oh, we pulled. 
<laughs> all right toot our own horn a little bit <laughs> do you know which game oh i'm almost positive it's super mario bros 3. exactly right you got it very impressive i guess i had i needn't hold back with you would you care to do battle with my lovely music sheets oh that's scary yeah, it's a stark difference in meaning, but also not, for they are just large multi-story, multi-room buildings for residents. Yeah, exactly. It's like when you, th you know, the picture is very different, but when you get down the brass tacks, I guess it's kind of the same thing. Crimson, how you doing? Thank you for the sub. Please enjoy the emotes. Hope you're doing well. That's basically first try. Oh <laughs> yeah. The key. Are we the baddies? Maybe if they weren't so scary. I want to get them all playing music again. Mario. Oh, yeah. Bomeo, wherefore are it? Oh, great. No, don't, don't do whatever you're doing. Just give me boo. All right, 10 boos gone. Hold on, I want to get the music playing again. This is so clever. I love this. Gonna hundred percent this game in one stream? Yeah, if that stream takes two more hours. We're on the clock tonight, because I um tonight is date night for Soy and I. So I would say, yeah, well, what's that I said? Almost impossible. Oh, yeah. Man, what a week. <laughs> the FNAF movie was one of the movies of all time. It was one of the greatest looking horror movies I've ever seen. Um, And then last night I was at a Halloween party where my buddy and I were both cowboys. I thought it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Finally had a use for that cowboy hat I have and everything.
Giddy up. Oh, you are one scary ghost. Okay. Well, all right. That seems rude. Hello there. Oh, well. He ran away. I mean, I assume it's... FNAF is now the biggest opening weekend ever for a horror film directed by a woman. Good for her. <laughs> Honestly, good for her. Oh, I just had to take his food, don't I? What the hell? No, get, get away. Get away. No, no. Don't give him more food. Stop that. in there anything oh my god all right here we go hold on i'm sorry i, I see which i see the conversation being had in the corner of my eye and i agree deal the art oh my god so Hold on. I saw a New York Times article. Apparently, FNAF is not right. So that's the biggest opening weekend ever for a horror film directed by a woman, which is oddly specific. Yeah, it is. Um, the headline was that it was a surprise hit, and it's almost certainly going to be a movie series now. Uh, oh, it was the headline. I just thought it was interesting. Oh, in oh, in the article you're saying. Oh, okay. Um, no. So I we watched it. I went with a friend of mine, and she and I watched it, and it was objectively a bad movie. Like, if you want to go in there, and like you don't know. But, like, if you don't know the Five Nights at Freddy's, like, lore, and I'm talking about from start to finish of what, all the games, you're screwed, all right? That movie is going to be awful. <laughs> but if you know everything, it's probably going to at least be fun as a movie. I won't say anything about it in case anyone wants to watch it. But there were definitely a couple of scenes where I was like at the movie screen and excited. Um, but I can't believe how much money. Well, I can, but I also cannot believe how much money it made. Yeah, no, most people seeing it are like 16 to 20. For sure. For sure. I, most of the people at the theater I was at, I was like, oh, yeah, everyone here knows like the extended FNAF lore. But it's definitely a hodgepodge of every single game thrown into one movie. And I didn't like the way they tried to make it spooky. I wanted it to just... I felt like as a movie, it was between campy and good, hmm? right? So it wasn't campy enough to be like, oh my god, this movie sucks, but I will watch it all the time because it's great. But it wasn't fantastic. And I wish they had just pushed the campy line a little more. Because they were close. Oh, yeah. Oh, a diamond on the gold bar? <laughs> but my god. 
the animatronics looked so good. Like, I, anything I say about that movie aside, it looked amazing. The practical... Apparently, they had built the suits in real life, and there were people actually controlling them and moving them, and, like, all that. So, like, everything looked so good because the suits were real. It wasn't CG'd. And, like, huge props for that. Terrible CG is a massive pet peeve of mine Mario? in movies. I feel like it's uh, just like a curse of modern filmmaking. Yeah, nothing, nothing beats good practical effects with, like, if you need to, a smidge of CGI. Everything now is just CGI. And to tell and it's it's just not as good it's just Mario? Oh, yeah. can i not move that chair Mario? Oh, yeah. Mario. Mario. it's the chair but i can't i can't do anything okay he moved very perfect he moved oh yeah What am I? Is it, is it this? Oh, you can do it like that. Boo delicious. Please don't. Oh, man. Yowza, you got another one. You're cruising, Luigi. Let's be the boo and get all the data. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a great one. Boo delicious. I love the boo puns. Wait a minute. Is this actually like Resident Evil? The room color, ch the room color must change when it's actually completely clear. Oh, that's so funny. A little guy. Anything? So that's blue. Hmm. Is this blue? This is gray. We could relight the candles. That's a great idea, actually. I feel like it was trying to be the Mario movie. This movie to take all the references and stuff to cater to diehard fans. So, all right, here, here's the thing. Spoilers for the FNAF movie. I can't even believe I'm saying that. Um. That's how we got the boss to get angry at us. Spo uh, some minor spoilers for the FNAF movie. There were no scenes in it where you had the main character in the office, like trying to fight the animatronics, right? It was always some bizarre other way of like scaring you that had nothing to, oh, the tablecloth. Anything? I'm putting all the lights out. Can I do that? So much dust.
Fire up. Anyway, the way they did the scares was really confusing. For me, because it wasn't typical FNAF. It was more typical horror movie stuff. There's a great idea. Oh, wow. I've always wanted one of these. Picture, but I wouldn't call it art. Oh, what's this? This would sure fetch a pretty penny. The candle on that table looks kind of weird. Picture is this. Um, is he cooking? Yeah, played or something. Um, the dust effects was a big part of showing off the GameCube's technical power. It's surprising how well I remember it running on the GameCube. Removed from the 3DS remake. That's oh, yeah. so sad. One of the best parts. Uncle Jung, do you expect me to sit on that? Please, I have standards. Blue. Why are those rooms green? Hmm? Okay, let's clear this room out and see what color it gets. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Come on, give me the pot. So I need to probably... Yeah, I'm gonna have to get, like, water powers or something. Ouch! Hello! Oh, you. Ah, there we go. Ah, clever! Aha! That's what they meant about that. All right. Got a boo in here? Hooligan! More howling! Nope, don't, don't, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Come back here! Aren't you just loving my brilliant inventions? Okay, now send me the boo and all the data you got. So many things removed from remakes and remasters, and Nintendo hates emulators with a burning passion. I... I like... Alright, here's my... I guess, whatever. I get why you would want to... Oh, water! Oh, that must be referring to the whole twins thing as well. I get wanting to protect your, like, you know, your intellectual property, but at the same time... If you're going to remake your games to a lower standard and, or not even remake them and uh, not make them for sale or available in the States. Gonna, gonna, gonna find another way. Only reason I have a... Technically, I have a legal copy of this one, actually. This is one, one of our very few actually Nintendo sanctioned streams. Because this is a, a ROM from... A game I own. Hey now, Luigi. Wow, what have you stumbled across? So this time it's a water element metal. Now you can use the water element. My research shows that these particular elemental ghosts like their watery dwellings when you approach. You know the drill, vacuum. Use the L button to expel it once they are vacuumed. If you press the L button all the way in, you can shoot out a big ball of water. I hear there are some ghosts who can only be defeated with water, actually. Also, remember the water has a purifying property, so use it well. Don't get too caught up with your new squirt gun, Luigi. Maybe. So then, what color is this room? 
It's blue. Show me the second floor. Oh my god, there's so many floors in this house. <laughs> so gray means that the lights are off. Not quite sure what green means yet. Versus yellow. Mm -hmm. Oh, how wow. Mario. Boneyard. Oh, puppy. Oh, puppy. Hey, chill out, puppy. Hey, stop that. I love that. Uh, I'm I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of emulation. If you could not purchase the game in a way to directly support the developer or your local recycle store, I don't understand why they are so anti-emulation. They just want to continue making games. They need to protect their intellectual property to do what it's, to do that in their minds. It is similar to why you cannot rent games in Japan. <laughs> Mario? Yeah, I get it. I, I understand why in their heads they think that, but I feel like it, you know, part of the problem with Nintendo is how awful they are at letting you continue to play those games. The other problem is in the US, the used games market is ridiculous, as we've talked about before, right? How did I get him out of there? There we go. What the fuck? Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Mr. Bones has arrived. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bones. Oh. 
Um, yeah, it's much worse overseas. I can walk in and get any old game I want for good price if they have it. Yeah, true. Here the game stores are few and far between. They all suck and eBay prices aren't. Yeah. Trying to, like, pick up a copy of, like, you know, Awakening or Fates is like, oh, you want to spend $70? And I'm like, not really. <laughs> God help you if you want Path of Radiance or Radiant Dawn. Oh, my God. I'm actually, I am... Considering in the future when I finally go to Japan one day to buy my copy of Radiant Dawn there because I really just wanted to have a collection of all of the Fire Emblem games and I know I'm not going to play it on the Wii. <laughs> so I might, might try and get a nice cheap copy instead of one that's $250. Which is ridiculous. Love it or hate it, it's ridiculous. I do have the virtual console and the Switch Online to release some of their old games. Not all. It depends on who made it, what remakes are in development, etc. Yeah, the the um, virtual console is nice. But, uh... Buying you can download any region version. Uh, yeah, again, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, if you're in Japan... Virtual console, I bet it's great. I mean, it has does it has like all the old Fire Emblem on it too, doesn't it? Uh, it's real simple. If you're already buying it, you can download another any region version. Oh, can you? That's how you play FP4 on the Switch? Yeah, it just would be nice. I guess the problem is then Nintendo would have to put in the effort of uh, translating games like FP4 or any of those Japanese only release games. And at that point, especially for ones like that. Why would you? Sorry, I'm gonna say it, but why would you not remake it instead of just translate it? If you're IS. I guess you can't just plan for this sort of thing. Hey, Mama, how you doing? Welcome to our horror game, uh... Oh, hello. Welcome to Horror Game Fest, uh... 2023. Oh, I need that heart so bad, please. reminds me of that one Mario Party 7 game where you're in the grave. It's flashlight tag, I think. It's one of the 1v3 games. God damn it. Hey, RPG. I'm not getting that. I need to wait for... I'm getting... Mm. Yeah, you like fire, huh? Oh, 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 wow. Okay, so in the middle of the swing, you're not going to get him. Throws it and then we'll be good. Um, they have staggered releases, so not yet. FE1, 3, 4, 6, and 7 are on Switch Online. No, 5? That's so sad. You probably play 5 in Japanese at this point. Oh! Let's go horror games. I'm doing good. Doing good. I don't know what's going on. The games was thinking of doing them for short game Saturday. 100% of a This is trippy. It really is. <laughs> We're just fucking Mirko's wet nerds. <laughs> Oh, 
Shadow Ball. I choose you. Oh, my aim is terrible. Gengar, you Shadow Ball. Is that even a Pokemon move? I think it is. I never use ghost types, except for Chandeloon. Chandelure. Chandelure? Chandelure? The one that starts is a candle. There we go. God damn it. This is when we actually need to hit him. I hear ghost types are very powerful though. They're supposed to be. I just never really like the um, the aesthetic of ghost types. I'm not, I completely pick Pokemon off of Oh, that one looks cool. Oh, that one looks cool. Oh, that one looks cool. There's... And then I try to have one of every type. I like to not have a double of types. That's how I would play Pokemon. <laughs> I was also very bad with, like, move typings and... Oh, dear. Oh, my God. Chandelure, okay. Um, Chandelure, even oh, it does this Chandelure use Shadow oh, Ball? That's how I play what looks exactly like Glalil. Digimon is where the visual aesthetic is at. I don't play much Pokemon, but something I used to do for fun was after every gym, I would deposit my full team and pick a fresh set to train for the next gym. Yeah. That's interesting way to play it. Oh, I, I like that actually a little bit. I never. I never messed with um, training a lot of stuff until why I actually had a lot of Pokemon was training because the EXP share giving EXP to the entire party made it so that I said, oh, cool. This means I can keep like 10 to 15 Pokemon instead of like six easily trained up to the same level. Um, so I was, that was a huge, I know a lot of people didn't like it, I loved it. it. I trained so many more Pokemon in playing half of Y than I did any other playthrough before that. Louis G. Hmm. Hey, G, can you hear me? Good to know. Here, you're still okay. I lost signal when that lightning struck. That was some battle you had there. Why don't you come on back to the lab? What, you think the lightning damaged the Poltergeist 3000? Don't worry about it. Even if that lightning had cooked your goose, your Poltergeist 3000 wouldn't even have a scratch. <laughs> Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you got a vacuum full of ghosts there. What do you say? We put them through the old ghost portrificationizer? Struggling to even say the word. Portrificationizer. Hmm. 
the ghosts are invisible. We need to press them into visible forms. And presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. Good number of these guys. Oh my god, we got a lot of these guys. Hmm. I managed to turn these ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. Mr. Lugs. The floating Whirlindas. Melody Pianissima. Shivers. And Spooky. And Bogmire. Caught a total of nine ghosts. Nice. Oh, we're rich. Rich, I say. A lot of visually appealing Pokemon that I do like are clumped together, being weak to a singular type. Ah, it's unfortunate. I am a big fan of the XP share change, but I do understand why people wish it was an option people could turn off if they wanted. I'm also a fan of silly building a team of six that is the night team for the game. Yeah, I I mean I do like I I mean I do like doing the six. I just liked the idea in why, because there were so many Pokemon I felt. Especially when they give you a, a second starter. Um, where it was like, man, I'd love to build two teams. And then the XP share was like, oh, would you now? 15 million yen would be like 100,000. Isn't 15 million yen? Oh shit, that would be like $100,000. Yeah, he's still got a lot. But wait, that's still no jump change. <laughs> <laughs> Where will you go, Luigi? Go to the gallery. Get to it. We don't have that one yet. Got him. Don't have number three. Yeah, number two, down number three, down number four. Hmm. Number 11. This is 13 then? Hmm. 15. Must be counting through the wall. Alright. We still have some ghosts left. Despite, uh, I don't particularly agree to force the XP cherry on people of their choice. The fact that there are so many Pokemon out there kind of, yeah. I've also, ooh, hold on. Back to the lab. I miss the style of Nintendo music. It sounds like Animal Crossing, uh, GameCube. I, my favorite Nintendo game soundtrack that isn't Fire Emblem, because if I had to pick out of all of them, it'd be Three Houses. But if it was any non-Fire Emblem game, it would be Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> Adore that game. I equate 100 yen to one USD on average, but also the exchange rate is very lopsided currently, it looks. No, that wasn't, wasn't poorly praised at all. I know exactly what you meant. What's it right now? I've always just done 100... Um, I've always done 100 yen to a dollar. It's just the w easiest way for me to do it. Um, yen to USD. Hmm? Sorry, let me try that again. USD to yen. <laughs> oh yeah, it's oh wow. Hmm. Oh, apparently, it spiked in 2022.
Interesting. Yeah, it's 100 yen to two thirds or a dollar to like 150 yen. Um, yeah, I will. Well, at one point, I might need to change the line of thought then. Although, it's just easy. It's so easy to just do one to 100. Cool. As far as I know, the yen isn't undergoing thousand percent inflation rates <laughs> is Zimbabwe part of that um oh what the hell is it I know that there is an East African um nation group that's trying to standardize all of their currencies i just cannot remember and like also politically bring themselves together i just cannot remember what region that is oh god you're quick i think it's the african union because there's there there's a lot there's a lot of them that pop up and go away. I know there's one in near the Ivory Coast, and then I think there was one. I think the African Union was the one that included recently added the um the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's the big one. I always get the Congos confused. Some might even say Speedy. Something tells me his name might reference that, the ghost. Uh, DK during the country era of pure classics. The series doesn't really have anymore. I know that, uh, I've never played a Donkey Kong game. Mainly because the only platformers I've ever played are Mario. He's never been a big platformer guy. Maybe one day after I beat Hollow Knight, I'll play Celeste. Then I can further bully Soy into playing it. Oh, Soy, hey, who knew you were here? How are you doing? <laughs> Ow. All right. Grab these little guys. <laughs> oh, hey there. Oh, jeez. What is down here? Bottom of the well. are pretty sneaky that they are oh get me out of here where are the bone wheels who knows hopefully not anywhere close by No bone wheels, please. <laughs> I'm good. Can I go up to this? Isn't that like a Bowser's painted world or something like that? Isn't that like a game that exists? Oh, hey, Toad. Well, I know Mario 64. Which is all painted stuff. Probably what inspired the painted world TBH. Yeah, there's a good chance of that. 
Sounds like a fan made ROM hack. Maybe I am thinking of something like that. You saw him, didn't you? How could they do that to Mario? When I saw him like that, I completely lost it and ran through the mansion looking for a hiding place. While I was running, though, I did happen to notice that. Mario left some of his things lying around the place. A hat, glove, a shoe, a ladder, and a star. I saw five items all together. I'd go collect them for you if I could remember where they were. Yeah, I probably should have picked some up. Leave it to me. Wow, really? You'll find all Mario's items for me? Yippee skip yahoo! Oh, thank you so much, Luigi. Sounding like Marge Simpson. Oh, yeah, I guess a little bit, aren't I? Oh, we already have his hat. Oh, we should bring the hat to the fortune teller, shouldn't we? She probably help us out with that. Oh, is this the weightlifter? Oh, hell yeah. I want to actually get him this time. I don't know if I... I don't know how the fuck I got him last time, though. I remember being stuck on this for ages. Oh, I know how. <laughs> Ow, fuck you. Get, oh, ow. Get up. Yeah, he sure fucking does pack a punch. Dope, I'm getting. Oh, great. I must say, I'm gonna get hit by either that or something else. So, what, you gotta punch him three times? I can do that. Oh, where did he go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not working. Um, there's one. Oh, there we go. Just have to knock his ass down. There we go. Mario bomb. I'll probably have to open it from the right side. Hello! Something tells me these guys, they give me a ton of money. Are optional. Have you seen his hat? Because didn't we just see Mario with his hat? True! We have his hat, and yet in the portrait, he's wearing it? Kind of suspicious. Oh, great. Boar regard? Boo regard. No, don't leave. Don't leave. No leaving. No leaving for you. Nope, don't leave. Okay, that wasn't very nice. Alrighty. Looks like you really suck. I'm doing my best. Hey, Zira, how you doing? Mario. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'll take care of that boo later. Uh, I say. Oh, ice must be our next. Owie. Ice must be our next unlock. Here we go. Um, so some focus. Oh, hello. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Uh, hello. No more plates. You stop this. 
Doing well, Ty from the last two days of Halloween decorating. How are you? How's the mansion? The mansion's good. It's much more friendly than other mansions we've been to lately. The ghosts are much more accommodating than the bakers were. <laughs> I would certainly hope so. Yeah, for real. A good skill. Hmm. Ice element. <laughs> hey, now, Luigi. What have you found there? Let me see. Oh, ice. An ice element metal. Now you can use the ice element. Ice elemental ghosts are found only in chilly places. You'll probably find them in refrigerators and cold areas like that. My research shows that they come out of hiding when you approach. Use the L button to expel elementals once you vacuum one of those ghosts up. If you press the L button all the way in, you can shoot out a frigid lump of ice. Yes siree, when water gets cold, it freezes, right? Ice can be very effective against water. You could use it on water ghosts, for example. Even a hot bath would get cooled pretty quick if you iced it down. Yep, that's very convenient item you found there, Luigi. Interesting. Right. Ice. Give. And now we shake chairs and tables. Mario. Ghost. Oh well. Mr. Boo Jangles. Get his ass. The boo puns have been my favorite part here. <laughs> Absolutely been my favorite part. You're on fire, Luigi, on fire! Yoink. This room is green. Puns are never a bad... Well, okay, never a bad thing. Hold on. <laughs> Those puns are enough to make me boo them. You can't boo them for their pun work. They're doing their best. I wish the Game Boy Color that was even a tenth as HD as the Game Boy Horror. It would be an impressive machine, I might say. Booga booga. I'm scary. Ooh. Not a ghost. Oh shit. Fire ghost. Hey, listen here. Buddy. Alright. I'll just vaporize him. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh hi. If he doesn't want to get sucked into the vacuum, I'll vaporize his ass. The 90s and early 2000s were full of puns and having phrases with the same first letter rhymes as each other. Wait, that is Frankenstein and Dracula. Here, I want that poster for myself. Come on. Come on. Let me oink the poster. I want it more than the wall does. Oh, no, apparently I don't. Oh, cool. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, hey, don't. Don't do that. Oh, okay, I know what I have to do here. Where is my ice? Mario. Another ghost? Jesus. You'd think we're in a haunted mansion or something. 
What type of tape glue was that poster using? Dude, I don't know, but they had a ton. They were quite speedy with that ghost. Something tells me if I wasn't, I would have been, uh, he would have gotten away from me pretty quick. Was that a book I can read? There's a moldy old journal. Yeah, I'll read it. What a hilarious trick I played on Miss Petunia today. She jumped into the bathtub after I filled it with ice from the freezer. She actually started shivering pretty badly and I felt a bit guilty for a second. Miss Petunia has made a solid stuff. She took a hot shower and felt like new again. When she warmed up, she wasn't even that mad. Nana. Good gaming, it really hit hard. Give me your soul. I need to go in here. Wait, what the fuck is this room? This is not the room I wanted to be in. There's so many puzzles. So many rooms. Alright, let's, let's start with what I know. I know that if I grab ice, I can go make... That lady's bath, absolutely horrendous. What the fuck is that? Oh, oh, don't, okay, don't suck those up. Jesus Christ, they're fucking bombs. Particularly prominent or exceedingly excessive. I see what you did there. Uh, Sorry to interrupt your bath, ma'am. Just want the pearls. Oh, some gun. All right. Well. Yoink. Isn't it actually bad to immediately take a hot shower when you're freezing or something like that? Um, I think it's if you have frostbite, you're supposed to like put it into like lukewarm water or something like that. Same with if you burn yourself because the temperature change can be bad. Am I playing, playing the uh, Tales of Arise DLC? That's a great question, Boom. Um, I don't know when. Uh, I know Soy plans on playing it. I don't know how long it's going to be. And so I'm, I might try and sneak it in at one point, but it probably won't be for a little while. Um, but yeah, eventually. I know Soy's playing it. I like the combat enough for um, in a rise to be like, yeah, I'd probably play. I'd probably play more of it. He's sending the shock for sudden temperature changes. I couldn't remember what it was. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. When you go inside the air conditioned house after being uh, out in the heist day and drinking ice water, it can cause really can cause a heart attack. That's wild. Hey, it's a funny man. Should I play with him?
She would mess up all of her curtains. Let me check that. Snowing machine. There we go. Give me the ball of yarn. What the fuck was that? Are you finding needles at me, man? Can't be shooting needles at me. That's rude. Birds, please. Yes. I'm going small mode. Give me the heart. Thank you so much. Oh, God. Um, obviously, each person is different, but that's what a temperature shock can be especially bad for people with weak hearts bodies. See, that that absolutely makes sense. I didn't know that, though, for just, like, be bad for anybody. So in anime only... In anime only, Detective Conan episode murder worked. Hacked the heating cooling system while they slept. That's wild. Really wild. Mm. Hello, Boo. Lim Lim Ogre. Mario. Hmm. You around here? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Where's it escaping off to? Over here? Mario. Hmm. Oh, it's another bitch. I think I lost him. Mario. Hmm. Mario. Hmm. Yeah, he's gone. All right, let's try. Let's just start clearing these rooms then. Remember that episode? Um, it was when I learned that was a thing. Uh, okay. Mario. God, that godlike aim. Hold on, it was not that great. Oh. Okay, so I have to light all these candles. I'm not a big fan of Limburger. What is Limburger? I've never even heard of that. Is a Flemish cheese type of cheese. Reportedly smells really bad. Huh. Who would have known? Oh, you guys, not me. <laughs> Flemish cheese, a Limburger. The cheese that knows no equal already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Um, alrighty. So you go downstairs. I'm a cheddar person myself. I really like cheddar. Limburger was used in like so many Looney Tunes as a joke. Was I? You got me there. I'm sure it was in the Tom and Jerry episode, too. Mario. Mm. 
I guess I just didn't pay that much attention though. Anything Looney Tunes related. Hold on, once I get through here. Actually, I want to get him. Oh, he doesn't give me a heart. That's rude. Um, you know what's really good? Cheese, the blinner. Really? I like cheddar. I like mozzarella. I love mozzarella. I like Parmesan. Um, or Parmesan. Hmm. Um, I feel like they really, I like Swiss. I love provolone. Provolone is my go-to burger cheese. Or uh, cheesesteak cheese. Because even if Cheese Whiz is the classic for cheesesteaks, I can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't bring myself to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've... Mm -hmm. I don't remember this guy at mm -hmm. all. We're at the part of the game where everything is just... I have no clue what's happening. You want some of this? Oh, not in particular. Oh, I, did I just hit him with bowling balls? Mm. Billiards balls. Mm. Very different than bowling balls. haven't lived till you bowled on a small green table. It's the only true way to go bowling. <laughs> Extra sharp cheddar, shred mozzarella makes a good grilled cheese. I honestly, no lie, like store-bought like Mexican blend. I don't even, I don't know what's in it. I think cheddar is one of them. A store-bought Mexican blend is one of my favorites for grilled cheese. Oh, already? Okay, I only have him once. Next year, next you're gonna play cards on the chess table. It's the perfect size for for cards. Three t three chairs? That's all we need. Boo hoo. Got that one. Unbelievable. There's no stopping you. Of course there's not. Oh yeah. Come on, please. Money. <laughs> I am rich. You're raking in the cash. Are those fish tails on the dartboard? No, those are just darts, but they're like low poly. Okay, I was like. Like, have the penguins been here? What's going on? Come on, right? I mean, that's got it. There we go. Get that projector rolling. Great. Invisible. Mario. Mario. Wow. 
the Okami part button. <laughs> I'm gonna grab. I say, come on, how many of these can there possibly be? When my ghost mansion has ghosts in it. Come here. Come on. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta suck up all the ghosts. Love! Ew, it's a little sweaty. Nasty. Maybe we should wash his glove for him. Damn boo! Okay, well. Oh, don't go through the wall. Mario. Oh, that's the sound effect for the star. The chest appearing? <laughs> Yowzy, you got another one. You're cruising, Luigi. And the boo and all the data you got. Oh, the glove appearing. I was like, I don't think the chest is. Yeah, no, the glove appearing. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna listen next time we get one. Me, those two rooms are green, and all the other rooms are blue, and then there's a yellow room. Mario. Oh, ah, uh, hello. There's a boo in here. I'm starting to understand. I'm beginning to understand. Oh, yeah. Get his ass. Oh, because he raises his hand to grab it? That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I have a special bit of information for you. You've seen some small ghosts other than the blues, haven't you? I'm pretty sure they're ghosts freed from the paintings of the ghost artists. Van Gore! I have a passel of trouble the first time I captured him. I know that artists strive to give life to their canvases, but this guy brought ghosts to life every time he picked up a brush. Okay, now send me the boo and all the data you've got. Not Van Gore. Be careful, Luigi. I realize we've been forgetting to check all these. The dancing couple, the floating whirli or whirlind whirlindas. Once the waltz champions, they can no longer compete since their feet don't touch the floor. Okay, that was not the right button. The wandering butler, he wanders the house endlessly searching for his master's will. He hopes he's included in it. The beautiful pianist, Melody Pianissima. Despite playing moving melodies, she has a surly disposition. Oddly enough, she loves video games. <laughs> Me too! He prefers all-you-can-eat buffets to three meals a day. He ate himself to death, but still wasn't satisfied. The glutton, Mr. Lugs. The hungry cigar dog, Spooky. This creepy canine will sink its, cho sink its chops into any seemingly edible thing in sight. The cemetery shadow, bog buyer. A product of the mansion's fear and despair. <laughs> He's not sure what to fear or what to despair of these days. The bodybuilder, Biff Atlas, 26. This kind bodybuilder loves mussels and lilies. Why lilies? They symbolize purity. The bathing beauty, Miss Petunia. Miss Ghost runner-up from six years ago. She hasn't had much modeling work lately. <laughs> the scarf knitting granny, Nana, 76. She's still knitting the scarf she never finished in life and now stretches to 871 feet. The lonely pool shark, Slim Bankshot, 29. Slim's a legend in the world of competitive pool. Too bad he's never played 
a living soul. Get it? Because he's a ghost? Hmm. Gamer girl ghost water? You didn't have to, and yet you still did. <laughs> oh yeah. Please give me the heart. Please, I'm begging. I'm pleading. Mario. Mario. weird with the mirror. No? Or maybe not. Hmm. I guess I could hit check. Oh, yikes. Me intrigued. All right. So this should tell. Where where am I looking to go? The twins' room. All righty. Or at least I assume it's the twins' room, considering it's located with the other family members. They're weak to any element. They don't like when I mess they mess with the helicopters. Um so before I mess with the helicopters. Oh, health? Yes. Please. Needs to stop running away. Apparently the twins are hiding a ton of money in their room. And then just Ah, nah, I'm not worried about the gold frames, but thank you. Mm -hmm. I just want to kill all the ghosts. <laughs> Alright, so that... Grab this monster's poster, make it a boo one. Or we just suck it off the wall. Oh, yeah, this will be work. Assume no, I didn't want to leave. <laughs> Let's go read that book again. Hmm. 
to the study. Perhaps I just have to burn the helicopter. Very shy. They've even gone and hit the key to their room. Far away in the mansion, not very trying. They get the mad at me the other day for twirling their little toy helicopter mobile. Ghost children the day. Well, that's what I was doing. Mario. Mario. Mm. There we go. I just wasn't doing it enough. Hey, mister, what are you doing over there all by yourself? Hey, why don't you play hide and seek with us? <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, let's play. Yay, we're gonna hide now. Wait outside. Okay, you can come in now. That was a terrible hiding spot. Not bad, mister. That was a horrible hiding spot. You guys suck at this. Hey, that's not right. Play fair, cheater. What? You're just bad. Jet going overhead when it drops the bomb. <laughs> fortune teller you found mario's shoe it smells like mario's feet luigi why are you so acclimated to the smell of mario's feet Probably has really bad foot odor and they lived it true. That's that's a good explanation. I like your explanation. You see that boo just gave up at the end, Luigi? Your reputation is spreading. Okay, now send me the boo data. I don't think he gave up at the end. Man was fighting tooth and nail. Mario. Hmm. Do that. Give me the heart. Got the poster. Yoink. Oh yeah. Nothing. Oh, they're based on the area. <laughs> they're based on the part of the game you unlock them during. 
<laughs> oh, I'm gonna go crazy, aren't I? Oh. All right, we got... Who knows? Who knows indeed? Not me. Mario. Hello, fortune teller lady. Metastasize a ghost. Metastasize? That's not right. Um... What is this object you have here? Show up, please, to Madame Clairvoya. What is this? I mean, it's the Mario's glove. Aha, uh -huh. still damned with the sweat of the living. Mm -hmm. mm, just one moment. Did I say, say Mario? Could it be that Mario? Uh, I see now. Well, I see everything, so I saw it before. Now I really see it. So you are the brother of the famous Mario, and you have come to this place to find him. Oh, aren't you a good little brother? <laughs> Excuse me, I don't laugh much. Oh, they come. Now the spirits come. Come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show to me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean, can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits come. Show us what we seek. Oh, I um. remember. We see that your Mario lives. Well, he is not in the spirit world, but one cannot say he is alive. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Where is he? Where is he now? Ah, uh, the spirits fall silent. Uh, this is all I can tell you for now. Bring to me another clue, and I will show your brother to you. This clue no longer speaks to us. <laughs> you know, there's been a lot of games where Mario and Co. Uh, really don't change out of their clothes for anything other than... That is some of the spin-offs. I mean, Odyssey that you can change their clothing. At least Mario's. It's the only one I can think of. Real quick, I gotta run and use the bathroom. I will be back in a moment. I will have Fisher give his lecture on why ghost fish are the scariest types. I'll be back in a moment. One so far, boom.
I return. Um, I think Fisher is finished. If not, you'll get to you'll get to hear the rest of it some other time. Thank you, thank you. Fisher's been recording uh, a couple reviews for the Spencer Review Network. So he's probably happy to talk about anything that's not <laughs> near Automata or a couple other games. Fisher Igloo. Full name if you guys don't know. Igloo spelled I-G-L-E-A-U-X. <laughs> so they are nocturnal. They have a small electrical organ as well. Oh, I have heard this one. 45 centimeters is not that big, but they do sound quite intense. It's very nice that he decided to use centimeters instead of the Antarctic measuring system. You guys think Imperial's bad. Oh boy. Hmm? What does this object you have here? Show it, please. To Madame Clairvoya. What is this? If it is a Mario shoe. Why, the soul is so warm as if he walked a thousand miles. Oh, oh, they come. Now the spirits come. Come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show to me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean, can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits come. Show us what we see. Oh, hmm. Mario's in prison, but where? Um, where is? Oh, where is he being held? Yes, a painting. Your Mario has been imprisoned within a painting. My orb shows us an odd altar. And come on, you stupid orb. Yes, above it. Your Mario trapped in a painting. Ugh, not concentrate. The spirits are leaving me. If you wish to know more of your Mario, bring more of his dropped items. It's really interesting. It would be a fun Pokemon that would be Electric Ghost. Oh, that's interesting. One would assume it is a water type first, given it is a fish. You would think so. First ghost type you can catch with a fishing rod. I don't even know if that's true or not. Just <laughs> like the man for Boya. It is Mario's hat why it's so clean as if someone just washed it. Sorry, sometimes I like to add a little drama, you know? Oh ho, they come. Now the spirits come, come spirits of power, come spirits of sight. Show to me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal Orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean, can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits come. Show us what we seek. Listen, can you hear it? The inner voice of your sweet, beloved Mario. Oh, horrors. What is this, a king? King Boo? What is this, King Boo? I do not understand just what he means, but beware of King Boo. This is what your brother wishes to say to you. No, oh, yes, a boo who wears a crown, I see. This is King Boo. So, he is the one who has captured your Mario. Ah, I can say no more. The spirits leave me even now. Um, we have a water ghost Pokemon based on a jellyfish. You, oh, can you? I didn't know. The only jellyfish Pokemon I know of is, um, water poison. That's locked. It's all locked. The only room I have left, I need fire for. Har, 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 har. Har, 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 har. Hmm. It reminds me of, um, Yoshi's story for the N64, particularly the castle level. I don't think I've played any of the uh, Yoshi based games. I've played Super Mario Bros. I've played. Can I go through this? No, I can't, can I? That's the whole thing. 
Um, I've played Super Mario Bros. 2, surprisingly. I've played Super Mario Bros. 3. I've never played Super Mario World. I've played New Super Mario Bros. For Wii. I think that's it. You're not a fan of them? Does it have to do with the letters or the, not the letters? Does it have to do with the spelling of his name or the not great Mario games? Appreciate the I think I can too. I just I've been single track mine to fix this area. Oh, here we go. Oh, not again. Oh, yeah, you're allowed to send a link unknowingly. That's perfectly fine. No, I just have... Okay, I was just... Hey, I didn't know. I didn't want to assume either way. <laughs> When I said the Mario games, I wasn't including Super Mario Sunshine, which I've obviously played a ton of, and Super Mario uh, 64, which I've played. And the very little bit of Odyssey that I played. Really? I thought I got him. Hold on. You did not misunderstand the topic. Uh, I just want to make sure no ghost jumped me. Um, no, I was talking, I had never played a Yoshi game, but the Mario ones I've played, I've enjoyed for the most part. I've played like, and I was like saying, I've only played like a small, sorry, the beeping was distracting me, a small select like group of the Mario ones. And I've played the first like two galaxies of Galaxy. One of these days I'll stream Galaxy. Boonswoggle. Hmm. No, don't go in there. No, god damn it. Um, let me check the link you sent. One sec. Um, YouTube. Oh, yeah, it does sound pretty similar. <laughs> that also kind of sounds like, uh, is it Carol the Bells? Not Carol the Bells. Is it Carol the Bells? It does sound very similar. I guess these ghosts are the only aspect of seeing what's behind the mask with a host of mask characters in Mario. There are only ways to see what's going on with the shy guys. Um. Mario. I do like several Mario games, such as Luigi's Mansion. Oh, I guess I count Luigi's Mansion for some reason as a Luigi game. You know, I say I haven't played a lot of them, but like, as I keep thinking, I've played a ton of them. All the Mario Kart ones, all the like, you know, I played Superstar Saga. Speaking of galaxy. Oh, 
Oh dear. Um, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario 3D World. There are over 200 Mario games. So, yeah, there are a lot of them. What the hell? Uh, not quite. God. Hitting the moon is tough. We are going to steal the moon. There we go. Oh yeah, goodbye moon. This reminds me. I'm not going to actually finish that because that's a spoiler for a game. Cue the Eggman meme. Did you just blow up the moon? I was going to say cue the despicable me, me memes. <laughs> um, the Super Mario series is the main one, but there are yeah, Mario Kart, Mario Party, Mario and Luigi, Paper Mario, Luigi's Mansion, Sports Series. There really are a lot of them. Fuck me. Yeah, you're not kidding, actually. <laughs> As I'm sitting here thinking about it, it's quite a lot. That one room's gray down there. Mario. Mm. Yoink. Hmm. Can you go back around? I'm conflicted about getting the remaster at Thousand Year Door, best in the Paper Mario series. So the only Paper Mario game I've played was, I think the Wii one. And I know Thousand Year Door is supposed to be pretty good. I figure if it's a pretty faithful adaptation, like, of the game. Enjoy your lurk, Twink. Mario. Oh, that was the scream one. I figure if it's a pretty faithful adaptation. Thumbs up. Obviously, I don't know how much they're going to change. I know they have those weird changes to the Super Mario RPG or whatever. I mean, I'm probably, to be perfectly honest, if I play it, I'm going to just play the original game. <laughs> Unless I get told it is the greatest remake ever made. Telling me I need to play Zelda 1 now. Um, let me let me let me get a little pause going. I see a lot of stuff. I see a lot of conversation now. Um I'll probably just play the original whenever I get around to it. Yeah, it's my thought process. Like I'll probably play the original unless people are like, man, it's worth this what is it, sixty dollars or whatever. And then in that case, okay, sure, whatever. Thousand Doors is practically the perfect. Oh, hold on. Um, I've played the sequel. Or sorry, the original several times, including a hammer only and partner only run. Oh, that's fun. Um, Thousand Year Door is practically the perfect sequel to N64 Paper Mario, refining nearly every aspect from the previous and then Super Paper Mario, the Wii one. We really did away with that with a lot of what was uh, the first two Paper Mario games. Oh, interesting. 
Oh, no, I got, I think I got about a third of the way. I, I was playing with my brother. My brother and I got about a halfway through Super Paper Mario. One of the rare games he and I played together. Um, and then I think we both just fizzled out on it. We got to the point where, spoiler alerts for Super Paper Mario. I'm just going to, heads up. Um, we got to the point where you have to, like, pay off a debt of, like, a million uh, gold or whatever. I can't remember exactly what it was. And so you can either like walk on a treadmill and it gets like a little bit, or you can run on the hamster wheel and it gets you a lot and you're supposed to rob the bank. But we never ended up robbing the bank. And we like, we like figured out how to do it and we we're like, okay, yeah, we'll do this. And then we just never got around to it. Um, which is doubtful since it's not seen a Plague Chronicles definitive edition. Um, that remake raised my blood pressure. Why did it raise your blood pressure? Oh, just because it was the, uh... Oh, right, because it was the the loved classic Nintendo game. <laughs> Getting a remake after 20 years or whatever. <laughs> um... That was, like, early, like, chapter two for the dead. Maybe we didn't get very far in it. We played it for a while, and we made forward progress a lot. So maybe, maybe I'm, that's just the part I remember stopping at for a period of time. Maybe we did get further. I don't remember. Um, Super Bear Mario is not as horrendous as everyone makes that to be, but it gets a lot of flack just because people love the original battle system so much. It's also too long. That's fair. But hey, now we have bug fables to make up. Or it. Post game stuff is also too long and boring. You have to do the pit multiple times. So like early chat. Okay. The best remake of all time is Demon Souls. Man, I believe you 100%. My favorite remake of all time that I've played so far is that Resident Evil 4 remake. That was so good. Oh, there it is. Mario's letter. I wonder what it says. That was lucky. Yeah, RE4 remake's definitely up there for sure. The Demon Souls remake is one of the prettiest games I've ever laid eyes on. For like the cover art I've seen of it. Oh, I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go. Wait, no, I did I? I gotta go back around. Very good, thanks. Mario. Mario. Hey there, Toad. Yeah, I think we moved away from Paper Mario, so I think you're good. Come on. that do that click back in all right um what do i interact with Oh, money. Hello. Give. Yeah. By the way, I have a good idea about what to do with Mario's things. So do I. 
Mario dropped five items. A hat, a glove, a shoe, a letter, and a star. Thanks for looking for them. Not the fucking ghost. Come on now, where? Come down the well. Still, only place I haven't checked yet. Nope, that's not what I want. This plays the cutscene again, which is fine. Mario, hey, how are you doing? Nice gloves and hat. Bill? Oh yeah. Mario! Mario. <laughs> No, 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 no. Yoink. needs a story in video games they do not need a plot how very how very engaged pill of you there we go holy shit plenty of silly little monsters Emblem engage. Hmm. It's funny for there were several developers who made plot focused games out of spite against me, Mr. Miyamoto's philosophy, the gamers. His philosophy, the gamers would like a plot or wouldn't like a plot. Assuming wouldn't. Down here to the ghosty. Was Kaga one of them? <laughs> I was one of the people who, when I was young, got angry at the idea the game should not have plots. What is this object you have here? Show it, please. The Madame Clairvoya. What is this? If it isn't Mario's letter, give it to me. I'll read it at once. I'm sure it's okay. I'm a licensed letter reader. Let's see. L-O-O-K-O-U-T-F-O-R-B-O-O-S-L-U-I-G-I. -I. Is that all? I'm not a novelist, dear Mario. This must have been written in quite a hurry. Oh, ho, they come. Now the spirits come, come spirits of power, come spirits of sight, show me to, show to me the awful things that are occurring here tonight. Crystal Orb, symbol of my clan, use your darkling power to show us all you could, I mean can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits come, show us what we see. Aha, I can hear it, your brother Mario. He cries out for you. What? The power of the boos? You wish to tell us something? Of their mysterious boo power? Oh, hmm. The boos do indeed have strange powers. When they gather in numbers, their power grows stronger. But 
They do fear your mighty Poltergust 3000. Ugh. I feel that I have only enough power within me to read one more of your brother's dropped items. My strength ebbs away. Hmm? What is this object you have here? Show it, please, to Madame Clairvoya. What is this? It is a Mario star. What otherworldly beauty. Oh, oh, they come. Now the spirits come. Come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show to me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean, can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits. Come, show us what we see. Ah, the spirits return to me. I see, I see, I see your dear Mario. The scene appears before me. What is this? Bowser! How could this be? I see the hideous form of Bowser. Is Bowser somewhere in this mansion? I cannot believe it. And yet I see it. I thought that Mario had soundly defeated Bowser. Has King Boo somehow revived Bowser? This could be horrible. Well, for you. Oh no. The powers leave me. The spirits depart. This is all I can show you, Luigi. That was the last of my power, but I have given words to what the spirits have shown. So I can return to my painting satisfied. Send me there now, You're vac you vacuum-wielding rogue. Ah, uh, finally. I can return in peace to my painting. Sweet happiness and oils. I thank you, I thank you, kind Luigi. You know, she's so excited to get back in the painting. You'd think she would've made that slightly easier, not that that was difficult. All right. There was later that words, not the whole meaning of storytelling, Souls games made me realize that. It's one of those things that makes certain games extremely memorable, storytelling mm -hmm. through actions and areas. Oh, there's a boo in here. Um, Mr. It oh, I'm gonna butcher this. Is it a Toei? I do believe the Souls games are excellent ways to tell a story in the game. And it's still painful. True, I guess being vacuumed isn't the greatest experience. <laughs> I have no idea what he worked on. Oh, we can go up to the last. Okay, top floor. Here we come. Oh. I'm Luigi. Yoink. <laughs> yeah, so you got another one. You're cruising, Luigi. Oh. The game lacks visual and environmental storytelling, feels boring, bland, and repetitive. You can make one of the best plots ever and still make a game. Make a, make a poor game if you ignore that. Yeah, I think. I think the idea of what Yoshi's explaining isn't that you have to have a narrative, right? It's, I don't think you're disagreeing. Just trying to make sure I understand. It's that, like. Having deep or deeper environmental storytelling or plot can enhance a game considerably. Being sucking is more fun than being sucked. Alrighty. Upstairs time. What the? 
Oh, oh, oh. God damn those things. So there's gotta be a counter to him. I feel like Miyamoto very much doesn't care about what the story is as long as the game is fun, so he treats him like toys. I think, that's the, I think that's pretty accurate. So they care about the story, but I don't think it's nearly as important as I once did. Hmm. Always on the fence. I'm definitely a gameplay guy. I definitely prefer a game has good gameplay over the game has a good story. Mario. But I think I changed that recently to more of Mario. I want the game to have a fun story. Regardless of if the gameplay is good. Mainly through playing and oh boo really <laughs> good evening dunce i'm the miss i am the mysterious power of the boos uh my little simpleton don't think you can vacuum me with your poltergeist 3000 why because idiot i'm a mysterious power Duh, tell me why you can't just be a good boy and let us turn you into a painting that desire the urge of all the boos to get a nice painting of a fool that's what created me I cannot let you come further. I despise you and your pathetic Poltergust 3000. Just give up and become a painting, will you? Since that desire is what made me, is, it is all I can think of. There used to be 20 of us in this area, drawing on our collective strength, but our mysterious power decreases each time you catch one of us. Ordinarily, your fate would be more dire, but tonight is a full moon, and we are feeling merciful, so we'll just blast you back to the front of the mansion. Ready, set, boo! Uh oh Great. I guess I have to have more of them. <laughs> Mario. Mario. A boo! There was a big boo flying around here. Be extra careful. I believe they need to work in tandem. Sorry, I got cut off by that. I think the Yakuza games have really pushed what I look for in a game. Again, I talk about that series a lot because it's one of my, like one of my newest favorite finds in video games. Hmm. Crazy Mario. world building, hmm. absolutely insane plots, mm -hmm. and. So my favorite action RPG gameplay. <laughs> Mario. Mm -hmm. True, true. No. Mario. Oh, that's not real door. Thank God. Mm -hmm. I can take a look around some of the uh, nearby areas and try and find a boo. Mm -hmm. Depending on the game, I don't always care about plot. Like Pikmin 4, I only care about gameplay. Story just got in the way of playing. Mm -hmm. It really depends. Yeah. I played a lot of gameplay only games growing up. Like a lot of multiplayer focused Mario. like arena shooters or that type of thing. I think Mario. because of that, I definitely look for more story heavy stuff now. Although it's not always, I mean, you know, it, it definitely changes. Game I really want to play at one point, not soon. Mario. This is just kind of in the future. Would be, um, Mario. Mm -hmm. Subnautica. And that game doesn't really have a story. Well, it has like a, like a world building based story. Mario. Mm -hmm. I just want to build something underwater. <laughs> All right. I think with that, I'm losing that boo. I'll save again and we'll wrap up here. Talk for the last four or five minutes and then I will uh, head out.
Um, the story can be told in many different ways that are not always equal. Souls is a story that is told through world building. Pokemon is a story that's told mm -hmm. through your actions. Yeah, I think I think in general you want to have some semblance of world building plot. I guess it's just how deep do you want to go with it. I don't really know what the what the correct answer is there. Whenever I finally finish that uh, RPG Maker game I'm playing or making, I will. Uh, it, it's it's definitely world building focused. I don't know. I gotta work on that. I thinking about what I want to do on Wednesday. And I might do Yakuza Kiwami. The other thing I might do, legitimately, is I might just spend two or three hours and work on programming the first map because that's where i'm at at this point i gotta program all the enemy reinforcements and the command uh command stuff ggs ggs and then thank you for being I've always wanted to try rpg maker but it's just so expensive so i will say it's stupid expensive if you buy the previous version of what the newest one is it usually goes on sale for up to 90 percent off so i've never spent more than seven dollars on a mainline rpg maker game and i think i spent 20 bucks on srpg maker i'm proud of you i haven't worked on it in a while i i don't know if i'm deserving praise on that right now i um I, I hit a wall where the reinforcements kept spawning in the top left of the map and I spent like an hour and a half trying to figure it out and then I figured it out after that and I was so frustrated I haven't touched it since. RPG Maker MV is a lot and I mean a lot cheaper. Yeah, so that's what I did. When MV came out, I bought VX Ace and then when MZ came out, I bought MV to do a project with a friend of mine a while ago. Um, but, like, you can get them cheap, cheap, like, five, seven bucks if you want something to take a lot of time and for you to build in. That's the way to do it. And I think if you really want to go for the earlier ones, they're pretty cheap. Apparently, it's $12 in the Humble Store right now. Interesting. Um, oh, wow. let's see. Uh, I think I can press this. Quit. Do you want to quit? You'll be back. Yeah, I will be back tomorrow. In fact. All right. We'll close this. Thank you for the spooky stream. Thank you for being here for the spooky stream. I had a lot of fun. The earlier ones are even cheaper, but MV... Yeah, I wouldn't go any earlier than MV. Um, Ace was fun, but, like, it was missing things that would have been really convenient. The, it, the One of the most convenient things, I think, besides um, uh, the JavaScript plugin, is MV comes with a character generator, which isn't perfect, but it lets you, like, make all of the different like it, it makes i think the sprites and the character faces based off of like a pool of them and it can be really really helpful early stages that just get you a ton of characters that you'll need mb is the only one on the switch ah okay that's fair um i don't know how like your laptop is but if it's you know I've run RPG, I've run MV, I think, the, not the newest, but the second newest one, on a pretty shitty laptop. Least of the Painful is the best RPG maker I've ever played. I remember you talking about that game. I don't know if it's going to hold up to uh, Ultima, Mach, but one day I think I want to try it. Thank you for streaming. Wish you all great with you guys. Thank you for being here, guys. I hope I'm, I hope everyone had fun. I did. I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed taking a day off of Fire Emblem. I kind of needed it, and 
more Luigi's Mansion this week, and then we'll be back to Fire Emblem on Thursday. Let's see. Um. Oh. Yeah, I remember you mentioning. I remember you mentioning that Sundown. I remember. You, I I can't remember what game we were playing. But I remember you mentioning Least of the Painful as being a game that you highly recommended. Think of a check out at one point. Um, I'm gonna raid Mike. He's playing Devour, which is like spooky or Phasmo. Um, if you're new here, hey, consider following. Cool thing you can do. I'm gonna put up a couple links. An enhanced. Well, when I get around to wanting to do one of those, I'll definitely keep it in mind. I think the first. I think I want to do, um, what is it? I want to do mother. No, is it just earthbound? I want to do the mother franchise first for those. And then I want to do obviously undertale, um, and all that, but this is painful. Anyway, links discord right there. YouTube follow up for VODs, the edited content. And finally, I'm going to ban check us out. Thank you all for being here. Seriously. Um, I really do appreciate it. I'm glad everyone had fun. <laughs> That's my only goal. Ugh. Hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their night, day, afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it may be. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Peace out. Oh, I only play Yakuza music to end the streams. <laughs> bye bye.